So I want to ask you all, why poetry? Why writing poetry in, po in, in, in lines at all? To express your feelings. Yeah. To express your feelings? I mean, you could do that in, in, in a letter too. So why poetry? It calms me down. Huh? It calms me down. It calms you down? Yeah, how so? Leroy? I like writing my feelings in my poetry. Yeah. It gets your mind off things. Yeah. It gets your minds off things. That's true. That's true. Yeah. That, you that actually have to work to make things rhyme and get that flow. You, that's, that's one of the bigger ones. You have to work at it. Um, a lot of people think that, I mean, that, that's, that's probably one of the things, that, the, one of the bigger things is that you have to, it sustains your attention and, and it feels good when you look back and say, oh, I did that. That was all me. Right? Yeah. Um, yeah. What were, um, actually I'll get to that later about some of the things that, that we got to. Um, so, what were some of the things that, that um, and I'm going to write them up here. What were some of the things that we remember from this? I remember the different rhyme schemes. Yeah, the different rhyme schemes. Yeah, we talked about rhyme schemes. What else? Well, the words were like different and different types of poems. Yeah, the different kinds of poems uh, that you can write. We had. Uh, Hold on, I got a paper right here. Cetera. The tempo of the poem. Oh, the uh, we we talked about the cento. Yeah. Where we where we can put together different lines from different. Um, Grab different lines from different uh, things and then find a way to put things together. Um, and this leads to your own work, but remember, oh, I'm going to close this that way. Um, okay, can you, hit, can you hit the on button? Okay. I will play a video, a short video, but. Okay. Um, in a minute. Um, we are putting things together with the Cento, but remember how some of you with the Cento started putting lines in between those? Um, and with those um, in between lines, once you have those in between lines of your own, those act almost like a scaffold. Um, do you guys remember the erasure? Yeah. What do you guys think about that? I like that one. Yeah? It well, challenges your head. You got to do a lot more thinking. No, it was challenging. You'd think it'd be easier, right? Because you have you have all the words right there with you. But why was that harder? Because you got to want to make it make sense, and it has to have a little flow to it too. You can't just scribble out just certain words. Yeah, uh, meaning within constraint. Yeah. Like I said. I like the opera. The anaphora? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I'll talk about that uh, as well. I like the bullet by Dennis Smith. Um, what the, Dennis Smith? Oh, yeah, yeah. The, um, the bullet. The bullet. Uh, talking about the bullet. And that one also is kind of the, like, my language is, my Spanish is, my Spanish is, my Spanish is. We talked about metaphor being. Um, I like this one metaphor. Uh, and the word is just as like the word equals. It's one thing um, equals uh, another. Um, and we're, or, you know, or doesn't equal, or approximates. Um, but this, going, back, going back to this erasure, um, a lot of people are having difficulty because up until now, I've been giving you, you know, all of, all of your, all of your ideas, all of your expression, all of your pretty much all of your vocabulary that you can, but with the erasure, you're pretty much limited to what's there. Um, did I read you some of the some of the lines that sure. that, I, that 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 stood out to me? Did I read you some samples? Okay, here's one from that erasure: A child and the mother is dangerous and wild and tougher than leather. Who else has the hands and feet of sorrow? Who else has the hands and feet of sorrow? I like that. Um, I am lettered, I cannot know what it means. And then another one. Don't you promise the dark. Occasionally I will never again unfold my confession. 
when the stranger refuses that nice, shiny, bright snake up to the door to die. And then we added the anaphora, right? What's anaphora? So you're repeating the same thing over and over? Yeah. Specifically where? In the beginning. In the beginning. Yes. So like I am, I am, I am. Like when you made it do that one poem. Yeah. I am, that might be I am, I am, I am, I am. And some of you guys came up with some really great metaphors here. Like I said, I am. Blank. I am blank. I am blank. I am um, Thinking of all that. I am a federal. Um, we did the ekphrasis exercise, right? What was ekphrasis? Do you remember? Remember what ekphrasis was? It was when we, uh, wow, how, where one form of art inspires the other. Oh, or like we English. write, yeah, where we write about where. Poems write about paintings. Remember the very first day we had that um, that uh, that poem that was kind of like all over the place by uh, Juan Felipe Herrera, where poetry doesn't have to be just like small words lined up next to each other. It can be kind of like all over the place, all over the page, um, um, and meaning through form. So, so I want you to um, get out your pieces of paper, and for for this kind of last day, I want you to uh, we're going to be writing a poem. Um, and remember, oh, that's what, the last thing I wanted to talk about is you know the difference between between. Poetry and prose. What's the difference? What's what's important about the line? Why 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 are we what are we breaking up this line? Why do you stop where you stop? Emotions or feelings, um, love, <laughs> uh, sadness, joy, fear. Uh, what else? And depression. Yeah. Happy. Uh, Happy is joy. Depression is sad. Yeah. Uh, no, it's not. Happiness. Yes, yeah, it is. If you were to write a a a, 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 a poem to uh, sadness or to depression, I think I think those are different things. Um, I'm not gonna write all of them, but let's throw some out there. What else? Bored. To boredom. Yeah, that's a good one. Listen, dear borderline boredom. autistic. Dear, what else? I'm talking about sure. What else? Um, what about dear curiosity? Yeah, yeah. Dear, Anxious. if you if you hear some of these and you like them, uh, write write one that you might uh, like. What is it? Anxious. Dear anxiety. Um, and these can be, you know, I don't want you anymore, or I want more of you. Right? You wouldn't want more anxiety, but you might want more joy, depending on which word you choose. Dear, dear irritation. Dear distrust. So this be like a letter, like it's a poem, and it's an it's an a poem shaped as an epistle, an epistle, epistle. I just said epistle. Did you? What is it? What's the epistle? Gabe? It's a letter. It's an it's it's a it's a, it's a it, the form is a, is a letter. Is that the form of writing it in or no? Yeah, if you were start with dear. Dear Aunt Sally. Um, dear heartbreak. 
Dear Forrest Gump. Dear Peace. Dear, or if you want, dear if, you, if you want more quiet, dear quiet, dear serenity. What is dear Pluto? What's up? What's serenity? What's serenity? Like serene peacefulness. Um, you have you have calmness in your about yourself in your spirit. Um, tranquility. Dear tranquility. Um. Dear confidence. What's the key? Yeah. Or dear shame. Or disappointment. Dear disappointment. That's a good one. What would you have to say to disappointment? Oh no. Right? Yeah, I think about that one. You have to think about that one. Okay. Um, dear loss. Dear optimism. Confusion. Dear confusion. That's a good one. What would you have to say to confusion? Get out of my face. Dear love. <laughs> Dear love. Dear tenderness. Why poetry? Why not? Why not letters? Why not prose? Why not stories? Why poetry? Because it's more abstract. Oh yeah. Um. You can, we can experiment with language more. Yeah. One thing that I saw in your erasure poems that you wrote, you know, that where you erased all of them, some of the language in there you wouldn't have necessarily come to if I would have just asked you to just say, hey, write a story about this, right? But because, because you were forced within the limits, within the limits of that given language, um, you kind of had to, who was it, Bailey, I think it was you, right, uh, that I said there was like a little bit of strangeness of that language? Yeah. Yeah, and we realized that language is, is plastic. It's, um, it's malleable. We can, well, I think malleable has one L, but that's fine. We can do with it what we want. Um, what else about poetry that we kind of have been talking about? So we've done a lot with, with the line. Um, why do you guys break your lines where you do? It sounds good. Okay, so lineation. Okay. Why does it sound good at one point um, and not at another address? Uh, yeah, because it makes you feel like it's, it's all about like feeling and stuff like that, how you're feeling. Yeah. And that's that's kind of the magic of of poetry, right? Because without the line breaks, it would just be prose and we wouldn't get that effect of feeling. Um, lineation makes it feel different. It makes it, it gives it a different rhythm, right? And, and we build a pattern with it. Um, some lines can be long, some lines can be short, or we can have, you know, a, a different Variety of them, so it's all really just to remind us that, like, again, language is plastic. What would you say, George? Ah, uh, yeah. yeah. Maybe if if you have recently had uh, a lot of George, maybe if you recently haven't. Oh, um, dear joy, that's a person, right? Or you could be like, dear joy, how have you been? Joy's your emotion. Your emotion. I haven't felt it in a while. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Or yeah. fear. Mark. Oh, yeah. No, yeah, you got, you got it. Mark, that's, 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 that's exactly. Um, if you were to write a poem to fear, what would you say to fear? What would you say to fear? No, no. Good. <laughs> I've got a bunch of them here, but I want to, I want to, I want to, um, <clears throat> what about, sadness, what, what other feelings or emotions do we have? Depression. Hatred. Hatred. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Room here. Uh, when, like when you're taking over something yeah. over and over and over and over. Yeah, um, dear rumination. Disgust. 
Dear Heartbreak. Do you know what serenity is? Yeah, it's like a uh, frat house. <laughs> <laughs> That's a sorority. Oh, uh, sorority. <laughs> <laughs> serenity is uh, like having peace and calm within you. Loneliness. <laughs> Dear solitude. Solitude. Yeah. Solitude. yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a better word. Like that one. That one really struck me. Huh? I have a mic. Like Oh. Dear, dear pain. So take these, take, 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 take these last um, 15 or so minutes, and I want you to write this poem thinking about. Remember, a lot, a lot of the tools that we that we've been working on. No, no, no. You just choose one. This is one. Some people choose to talk about a few, you know. If if you talk about if you talk about love, you also might talk about heartbreak. If you talk about um, pain, you also might talk about solitude. Um, so, but but choose one and, and, and write this to that feeling as if that feeling is a person. Does that make sense? And remember, think about why you are breaking the line where you are. Think about lineage. So I'll go like, dear, bitter, dear, what? Yes. Think about, think about lineation. Maybe you might want to do something like this, where you are. Yes.